Hello friends, today we're going to talk super quickly about storing your Final Cut libraries on an external hard drive, um, just to give yourself some more space on your computer if you want it to run faster and be optimized and happy. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to have to do, um, depending on whatever external hard drive you end up purchasing, um, probably, especially the bigger ones, are going to ask you to format them when you first plug them in. Um, I have this Passport one that's four terabytes, which I named Robin. Um, that's why it looks like this. When I first attached it to my computer, it went through a process of, you know, formatting itself so that it could be directly saved to from my machine. So you're going to want to do that. But any external hard drive that you get will probably essentially do that for you or we'll walk you through the steps to set that up. So that'll just be the first thing to do. Okay, so now we're going to open up Final Cut Pro. Um, and to the first thing that we have to do, right, is to locate where is this library right now? Like this is not Finder, this kind of looks like it's just stored within the application itself. But if you were to go to the application, you wouldn't really see this in its libraries or anything. So where does this actually go? So the way we find that out, you're going to go to this and you're going to right click or if you uh, tap with two fingers on a trackpad, uh, that'll work too. And you're going to go down here to reveal in Finder. Boom. And generally, the default location is going to be in your home folder uh, under movies. Uh, and then there it is, like demo library. Amazing. So what do we want to do? Well, the first thing that we have to do, and this is very, very important, is we need to quit Final Cut Pro before we move anything, because if we don't do that, Final Cut will freak out and lose its media and it'll be a problem, right? So I'm going to come back, I'm going to do Command Q to quit Final Cut. It's going to quit. Great. Amazing. And then I could just go to my passport. I could just go to my passport here and open it um, and drag this in. Um, but I really want to make sure that everything gets moved properly and that it, I don't want it to copy. I want it to actually move this file. So I'm going to do this, like you really don't need to do this, but this is just the way that I would like to do it. Um, I'm going to come here to Final Cut Backups. I want to make a folder where I want to save this, right? I'm going to come here to Final Cut Backups, um, and this is called Demo Library. So I'm going to Command Shift M to make a new folder, and I'm going to name it Demo Library. Great, just so that we have a target. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my terminal, which I have a window here, but if you don't know how to open it, um, a super easy way is just to go command spacebar and then terminal, great, and that will open it for you in a new window, great. I'm going to type MV for move space, and then I'm going to come right here. I can either come down here from the path, if in Finder you don't know how to show the path, you just go to view, and then mine's already here, but you would say show path bar, hide path bar, so view. Show path bar, amazing, because this is what you need to tell your terminal. I want the thing that is here to be somewhere else. So the first thing you give it is MV and then a space, and then you're gonna just take the path and drag it right into your terminal. And wow, it copies, that's amazing. And then now it's expecting, okay, so this is where it is. Where do you want it to be, right? Well, we just made this folder, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna say demo library, we're gonna drag it this folder, and check that out. So, like I said, you can either drag the path itself, or you can drag the just the folder, and it will take the path um, automatically. And then I'm just gonna say, okay, great, enter. And look at that, that's so fun and exciting. It moved it right over there. Um, and it's still thinking about this, because obviously it's kind of a complicated thing, so we're gonna wait for it to finish doing that. Awesome. And you see, uh, as whenever you run any commands out of the terminal, uh, wait until you see your username pop back up with this little dollar sign here, um, just to make sure that it's done. So as we can see now, all the library is no longer in this location. It has totally moved to this location, right? So now I need to go back to Final Cut and say, hey, Final Cut, don't freak out, but I did move this thing. So I can actually, I can either, Final Cut's right here, I can go to Final Cut, or because I have my terminal open and I'm a little terminal nerd now, uh, I'm talk to it. so you can either do that or you can do open dash a, anywhere. Um, and you have to put it in quotes, it's one of the words, final, cut, so you don't have to do the caps, but I do. And then it would open it for you from the terminal, which was fun and exciting. Yay, amazing, okay. So when I come here, it says, which library would you like to open, right? And so what I have to do is I have to say locate so that I can find the library, because this is what it does when it's like you move something, I don't know where it is. So see, it takes me to this movies folder where it thinks the library should be, and it's like, but there's nothing here, what do I do? And you say, don't worry, go to, this is the new location, right? So you know it's Robin, Final Cut Backups, Demo Library, Demo Library is this guy, that's the one, 
right? I'm going to say open. Amazing. Look, and there it is. Everything is fine. Here is my project. Here is all my media. And now whenever you open Final Cut, it will know automatically this is the library that I want. Also, you can see I had another library open and it's not open anymore. If I want to open that, I just go to File, Open Library, Other, and then I can locate that as well. So I just click Locate, la la la, Robin, Final Cut Backups, Home, Open. and check that out. Now I have both my libraries open um, and everything's fine, she knows where everything is, so yay for Final Cut. Um, and now whenever I'm making projects, all of that data will save to my external hard drive where I have much, much, much more space than on my computer itself. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, do not feel to reach out. And as always, you did an amazing job. Happy, happy programming and have a wonderful day.